everyone, welcome back. Um, I've got a flip through of this journal to show you. So um, it's a field notes, um, which is, it's going to be very similar to the last video, but there are some, um, a few new ideas that I've implemented. Um, so here's the back. It's quite a loose cover. I've attached two separate uh, covers with a soft spine um, and sewn everything in individually. So you've got some fabric here. Um, the front and back don't match. I've kind of done that in a... I want that utilised, um, kind of put together by hand feel about it. Um, so again, it's like an amateur botanist, a nature lover, hobbyist, who has gone out and collected all these bits and pieces and, and put them together. So um, the cover itself is a book that I love very much. Um, it's called Colour in the Canadian Rockies. It's this lovely emerald green colour, uh, which I'm sh hoping will show up properly on the camera. Um, and I've left the spine attached uh, to the cover because um, I just love the spine. It's got just like the perfect level of being worn and uh, you can still make out the writing but uh, I think it's just beautiful. Um, what I've done is cut out a panel and put this watercolour um, and I've covered that with wax just to protect it a little bit. So there's a little bit of painting and um, the cheesecloth under the watercolour is kind of half pasted down with the, the paint and with glue um, and kind of just painted over around the edges. I'm thinking that maybe I'll do a tutorial of uh, how I made that cover because I, I do like it. And the back is collaged, um, just bits and pieces. Don't think I've got much to tell you about that. Um, so there it is. Okay. So I'll try and line this up properly for the camera. So I was keen to um, use the original end papers because um, it's a very beautiful hand-drawn map of um, of the Rockies where the book is about. So um, I wanted to leave that. Also, I'm liking the green. I've added this little label from Tracy Fox. Okay, and this, um, I find myself doing this a lot lately, just playing with this um, brown paper tape, um, like what you used to use for watercolours, um, uh, gummed on one side. Uh, so I've just covered the edges of that little page, um, made a quote, add some ageing effects, and I'm really liking that style. So a little watercolour, plenty of um, eco-dyed papers, some little bits and pieces there, a little specimen. So that's the other side, which I've glued down into a little pocket, um, and a quote, got some lovely little book pages stuck under the sellotape. Um, some eco dyes so some more brown tape. I've put a, um, I, I took a walk in the woods and came out taller than trees. So lovely quotes, just some scratchy edges. This is a book plate that I have on my website and um, a bit of fabric with a stamp. I've used a lot of these beautiful ledger pages also. Um, so I'm adding glassine just to protect these samples from rubbing together and becoming damaged. Um, so not much to tell you, I think it's all self-explanatory. I've um, got some more book page. The little antique glassine um, 
an envelope with a seed pod, some kind of dirty inky bits under the sellotape, that looks really cool. And this is kind of an homage to the original book. That, um, it has these beautiful uh, colour plates. So I've included one of those. I've left it kind of loose so that you can write on the back if you want or, you know, make it into a pocket as you wish. Some eco dyed paper made into an envelope. And that's got some... I can't remember what that's got, just some ephemera bits. That's beautiful beech leaves. And here I've got um, a vinyl pocket, um, which I really love these um, more than I should. Um, but I've been using them a lot in journals, so it's it's vinyl with trimmed with paper, and the flaps um, sewn all round, so that they're kind of encased, and little labels you can add to the to the top. So what have we got? I think that's just an exercise book uh, with some tuck spots and glassine for your specimens. There's a nice little label on that one. Um, some copper tags and a little scrap of map. Just in case you're lost in the wilderness, I think that's going to be very useful. Some paint swatches. And on this side, um, so I have these on my website, these are little paper sample uh, booklets. If all the world were paper and all the sea were ink. Yeah, so I think we'd be a happy bunch, wouldn't we? Um, some photo corners for your samples. So here's um, another example of the brown tape. I've made a journaling card, which you can write on both sides, but I'm really loving these. They look so battered and old and, and very cool. So I've got some leaky paint, got some smudged ink, some number stamps, splats, bits of yellowed tape there, and kind of corners peeling off. So I'm liking these very much. That's an album from um, a collector's tea card booklet. Okay, so that's that side. That's another digital from my website, a little tree ID, um, hand-drawn hand leaves and such. Lovely Edith Holden tissue paper. Uh, I've made a little holder for this um, specimen with some painted paper, and there's a tuck spot with a vintage envelope uh, postcard. And some more collaging. So bits and pieces. There's a little nice book page there. Um, I've added a paint swatch little drawing. And um, that's um, another of mine. And some scribbles and smudged stuff. I'm liking all the smudge stuff at the moment. And this one was, um, I did a little follow along of a, a video from 
uh, I think it's Michelle on Creative Cove, uh, which I'll link below. I'm pretty sure it's Michelle. Thank you, Michelle, for your lovely tutorials. Uh, she's really fun to watch. Um, another watercolour. So a lot of these I've tried to do straight onto the page, um, which is I'm, I'm trying to get that feel of somebody just sketching as they're out and about and just using whatever paper uh, they might have and then put them together later in a book. These are some um, digitals, uh, I think it's called eco -dyed old book something like that um, on my website and some lovely cotton rag paper with fern leaves some more fern leaves here in tissue and these are again hand drawn um, with little notes bird watching notes on uh, not touch Um, a pocket with a embossed grass. I've added a little bee charm. And some papers in there. And this was a sketch from my local beach. So, um, just kind of rough and watercoloured. Got some notes on the... Um, observations. This was a nest that I found um, last year, I think. I think they're oyster catchers. Eggs, um, but not an expert. So again, straight onto the ledger paper, which is actually um, really nice for painting on. Kind of, um, yeah, you can see it's not come through at all. Um, RHS um, postal cards. This is handmade paper with some um, book page collaging and sketching. Another watercolour. Lovely sellotape. And this is another version of that um, that I showed you just now. Um, so I've done added a quote, um, not a quote, a poem. This beautiful poem by Alex Smith. Best I love September's yellow. Um, so I'll leave it there so you can pause it if you wanted to read it all. Some more eco dyed cotton paper. And just another little idea here that I don't think I've seen anywhere, but um, I'm sure somebody must have done it. Just doing the wax seal thing kind of upside down with the sprig. Um, so I think that's um, broom that's been pressed. And letter from the bookmaker is um, a little explanation of what to do with a junk journal. So I, I include that with every journal and um, it's also a free download. You can um, download that from my website and, you know, use it how you want. So that's the wax seal. Um, some more collaging. A little handmade label with a safety pin specimens and notes and that's a, another drawing with notes. I've added um, a colour swatch there too. This was a um, handmade paper envelope that came out a bit wonky but it's actually worked very well here just um, gluing down the two sides like that. I've added um, a little sample 
die cuts with lots of little different samples in there. So I'm pleased with that. More paint swatches. A lovely quote by John Muir. Um, time to quote on the glassine envelope. There's some little tea cards in there. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to move a bit more quickly because I think it feels as though this video is um, dragging on a bit. Um, so I've done some embroidery here on a little pocket. That beautiful, um, that's honesty. That came out really lovely. Uh, so more eco dies. Um, I have some of these tags available on my website, and this is eco dyed. I love how this colour um, from the copper eco dye went so well with um, the J there. Um, so I've got some fern leaves with. Um, it's got a really beautiful green tint that I hope you can see. Um, so same on this side, we've got sewing machine lines, we've got extra space for writing and I've made this envelope with wax paper, uh, sorry, handmade paper which I've waxed uh, which makes it see through and then I've added a Polaroid of some trees which was actually not that good a photo but um, I really love it in here, it looks like there's a storm blowing with all the little flecks from the the paper. I think it looks really effective. So there's that and so the little floral card in there. Okay, are we still in frame I think? Move along a bit. Okay, what's next? Uh, another um, painted envelope with some Herb Robert leaves, paint swatch, extra paper, lovely book plate. I really love these colours. Um, so another painted envelope, Got some leaf impressions, little drawing. I've left that open for space or glue it into an envelope if you like. And a painted dragonfly. I love how these colours go. So here I've painted privet and um, this was some wild rose hips and that is um, also a painting and this is the other page from the original book that I've used the cover for. So I thought that was a really sweet little illustration I wanted to include. And that's another painting. Um, some nice sellotape there. I think that looks really cool on the um, the jotter paper. I'm pleased with how that's come out. So that's um, pen and ink and watercolour. Uh, I think that was eucalyptus. And this was another idea. Um, I bought a box of these penguin book cover postcards, which um, I was a bit disappointed um, because a lot of the books are completely unrecognisable to me. I thought that it would be like classic books, but they're not. So I was thinking that would be actually a really nice way to still use them. So you still get that classic penguin feel. Um, but just uh, covering it with a bit of book page and using it as a, a background for a sample. I'm very pleased with that. So I'm sure I'm going to be doing more of those. And this one, again, one of my favourites. This is a negative, um, well inspired by the old um, photographic negative strips. So I've got all different grasses in here with some 
um, collector's sort of curated information and just another little thing with um, some botanical information. Some notes down the margin. So um, I've used these lovely book pages. Um, I've forgotten her name, but uh, I will link it below. I've added some little strip of sellotape with um, old book pages. Look at that beautiful painting. She, that's gorgeous. And made some pockets for handmade labels here. Used a bit of the extra paper to make a tag. Added some notes. And more ephemera in there. More brown paper. Handmade paper. And for this big envelope, um, I do have a tutorial on my channel of just just kind of a, an aged envelope uh, feel. Got a nice tag on there, some book pages, lots of bits and pieces, um, staple the staples, tags, copper staples. I'm loving that red. Um, book pages, sewing, posted stamps. I've used various punches here and don't forget to layer your um, brown paper too that looks cool so that's got a flap that one's open at the top so some jotter pages some old cheesecloth brown paper tape of course and some scribbles and annotations and here we've got a little glassine uh, with a quote from Laurie Lee And some labels in there and swatches and such. There's another watercolour with some notes. And here's some little drawings for um, like some botany information on there. And this is another website, one paint swatches. Okay, so I think that's all of it. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Um, what else do I need to tell you? I think that's it. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, everyone. I hope to be back soon. Bye.